Well, the high-speed rail that President Obama talks so much about had Californians dreaming of a 200-mile-per-hour train ride from L.A. to San Fran. But instead of a fast ride from the City of Angels to the city by the bay, they may have to settle for a slow ride to Fresno at a higher cost. So who's paying the price for this fiscal nightmare? CNN investigative correspondent Drew Griffin looks into it. It sure looks like the future, an animated version of California's high-speed rail. And it sounded really cool, too. L.A. to San Francisco at more than 200 miles an hour. No planes, no cars, no fuss. That's why Californians voted for it back in 2008, passing a $10 billion bond measure for a train that was projected to eventually cost $34 billion. Keeping them honest, it's now four years later. Not a single track has been laid, and a bombshell report was dropped on California's taxpayers last fall. Their $34 billion train would actually cost closer to three times the estimated amount. The new business plan puts a cost estimate of about 98 to 118 billion. It was a shocker. Three times the estimated cost. And guess what? You, the federal taxpayer, might be on the hook for a big chunk of it. We'll get to how that's possible in just a moment. But in California, the sticker shock caused yet another change in accounting, a big turnover with California's High Speed Rail Authority Board, and yet another rethinking of just where the train will go and how fast and how much it would cost. Today, we are releasing the revised plan. In a press conference, a new route, a new slower speed, and a new cost estimate. Now in the neighborhood of $68 billion, still twice as much as originally sold. There's no question that the costs have gone up. Dan Richard is the new chairman of California's High Speed Rail Authority and co-author of that report that sent the High Speed Rail plan, well, slightly off track. That report was a draft. It was intended to engender comment. Uh, it did that rather successfully. And we're looking now at how we revise the plan and strengthen the plan and go forward. But that is also very troubling. It turns out the latest plan could be for a much slower train, not actually the high-speed futuristic cartoon California voters approved four years ago. More of a hybrid that goes slower, makes a few more stops, and doesn't quite deliver the L.A. to San Francisco promise of just a few hours. And that's not the half of it. This is about to become really political. California's high-speed rail has one huge backer, President Barack Obama, and that is where you come in. The administration has pledged $3.5 billion in stimulus money, also known as federal tax dollars, and that's just so far. Now California admits it will need even more, tens of billions of dollars more from federal taxpayers to finish it. But first you have to start, and that's where it really gets dicey. The foundational segment, the first stretch of track, will cost at least $6 billion alone. And under the new plan, we'll connect Fresno to Burbank. It won't go anywhere near San Francisco. And in the process, we'll dissect generations-old dairy farms, nut orchards, and towns that don't want it. We want them to stay off the land. It is not our intention to allow this to happen through our property. Uh, we farm here for a reason, the tranquility of it all. This is farming country, and we want to keep it like that. USC's Lisa Schweitzer, a skeptic, says the High Speed Rail Authority Board is doing everything it can to rework numbers and routes to justify spending tens of billions of dollars on a train that may be a huge economic blunder that few want to ride. Every infrastructure project has the potential to be another Salandra. Right, whether it's high-speed rail or whether it's a bridge to nowhere, right? Um, the construction costs can overrun like that. And that's especially true in California where our permitting and approvals process is tough. Does all this have California rethinking its plans? Absolutely not, says Rail Board Chairman Dan Richard. And for one reason. They've already got the promised $3 billion of your tax dollars in federal stimulus. California may not get another dime from President Obama, but it has no intention of giving back the three billion already promised or the billions more from California voters. So let's be very clear on this point. Uh, we have six billion dollars to build the foundational segment. 
even if that foundational segment turns out to be a high-speed rail well to nowhere. Could this really end up being a train to you nowhere? And I have, you and I have both lived in California. Yes. Who is going to ride a train from Bakersfield to Fresno? Five years from now, if all goes right, that's what you'll have after spending $6 billion. So if that's where it ends, yes, that will be a train to nowhere. And we're talking, okay, first of all, yes, because we worked there, we lived there. We remember this project right. almost 20 years ago, and where was it going to go? The price. I, I mean, not just the route, but how much it would cost. Yeah, it... You know, the, it's all a numbers game. California voters really wanted this in 2008. Now they've got something that's going to cost twice as much. It's going to be a little slower than advertised. It's not quite sure where it's going to connect the cities. Burbank to now outside of San Francisco, near San Francisco. And keep in mind, not until 2028 will this be completed if it all goes fine. California is starting this program without having the money to finish it. There's a lot of fear and a lot of questions about whether or not this will ever come to completion. Well, and back to the routes. That's, I remember those in Los Angeles, that I even thought, oh, wouldn't that be great to hop a train to San Francisco? I mean, yes, it's a beautiful drive, but to be able to get onto a high-speed train and go, I mean, that's what sold so many people in the area. That's right, and if you went from downtown Los Angeles to downtown San Francisco, that would be perfect. But they're now talking about a blended system where you might have to change trains. You can't go down to Orange County now. You'll get on the local trains to do that. So it's all a bit more complicated, a bit more, a lot more expensive, and a bit slower. So will this work in the very end? There might not be a very end. And will it get to San Francisco? Not if there isn't an end, right? That's exactly right. All right. It'll well, get you to Fresno <laughs> if you're leaving from Bakersfield. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. It's, it's funny, but it's not funny. Yeah. It's $6 billion. Yeah. It's a lot of taxpayer dollars. That is right. All right. Drew, thanks.